light. And I'm here to talk to you about us running out of time. We definitely run out of time. And we really need to take things to the highest level to ensure that we're safe and our family members are safe. What am I talking about exactly? I'm talking about the silver tsunami. Now, I did a whole course on it, and I'm about to re-release it. It's called the silver tsunami. The silver tsunami is the collapse of Social Security. We talk about people's pensions plans. Their, their future is at stake. And the reason why Social Security would be no more, the reason why there would be a major economic collapse, not necessarily when people say the dollar is going to fall, they make you think the money is not going to exist. The money's still going to exist in whatever form. But by the dollar falling, we meaning that the price of living will be so overwhelming on this side of the world that if you haven't established yourself as a investor, a credited investor even, if you haven't established yourself in the 5% of the people that have wealth, which is the ability to grow more money, then you're gonna inevitably suffer. You gotta look at the 500 companies that are laying people off left and right. You gotta look at the new AI technology that gives reason for people to lay off human beings because they no longer need human beings. It's called the silver tsunami. The silver tsunami is when you have way too many younger people, way too many older people, and not enough people in the middle that make up the labor force. Not enough people in the middle that make up the working class. Why is this important? Because the working class composes of people that's around the age of 30 to 35, even 40 years old. This is the age that most commonly buys houses for the first time. Like seriously starts buying houses and settling down, really around 35 or so. Reason why this is important is because if you have too many people that are in their 60s and the lifetime expectancy is age 72, that's when we're supposed to die. The average lifetime expectancy is age 72. Then if you have too many older people, too many older people won't be alive to take care of their homes or pay their bills. You have too many younger people, they would not have gotten the opportunity to even purchase homes. Homes are very important. The reason why homes are very important is because people have to pay property taxes. And when you pay property taxes, property taxes are allocated in millages to make sure that you have school lunch, lights, in general, lights on the street, lights in school, pay your school teachers, pay your fireman, pay for the fire department, pay for the policemen, policewomen, pay for legal aids, keep the roads and the highways smooth, pay for the doctors. You know, property taxes is responsible for the infrastructure of society. If you don't have people in properties to pay for property taxes, then what happens to the schools? They get overcrowded, they get dilapidated, lacking in resources. We won't have enough street lights, we won't have enough firemen, firewomen, policemen, policewomen, so forth and so on. Hospitals will be decrepit. So you need the housing market. The housing market plays a significant role. If you look at America's gross domestic product, the housing market, real estate, accommodates for at least one third of all the revenue that America makes and particularly debt. Most of the money that they make from real estate is accumulated by the debt that they put people in. But if the if there's too much people under 30 years old, particularly in the 18 year old and younger range, and too many people in the 50 plus year old range, and not enough people in the mill that keep this thing going, the workforce, the labor force, the, the new homeowners, then that's called the silver tsunami. I hope you guys are walking with me. It's called the silver tsunami. And this means that life will inevitably become extremely difficult for the likes of whom are not prepared for the silver tsunami. Uh, I will say that there will coincidentally be a lot of diseases that will target younger and older people. I would say that there'll be a lot of new legislation passed that will target younger people to keep them incarcerated to kind of balance things out. Now, this may sound like a conspiracy, but they have to really employ depopulation tactics that specifically target older people and younger people to kind of polarize themselves in this experience as far as the economics is concerned, to kind of neutralize the ensuing problems that will arise when you have too many younger people and too many older people. Again, it's called the silver tsunami. Okay, it's called the silver tsunami. Uh, this means that 
hyperinflation is going to become more hyper. This means that food inflation is going to become more ridiculous, meaning that you're going to have food that lesser quantity of food costing more money than it used to when it was more quantity. So lesser food costing more money. That's what that means. Food inflation. You guys got to really uh, get into the know when it comes to these things. You know, um, that's why I got the credit restoration amongst many things set up. I'm going to start up the classes and the courses.